Pisces, welcome to your weekly Sidereal Astrology Forecast. This is for October 24th through the 30th of 2016. I'm Athen, and this channel is about using the actual constellations in the sky known as Sidereal Astrology. If you are new to the channel, be sure to check out the link down below for more information. All right, so Pisces, this week we have a new moon at the end of the week, suggesting another new beginning with relationships for you. That was the location of the last new moon in your seventh house. And now again, a new moon in your seventh house. So uh, this week does enter into it with the third quarter phase. So I think it will be quite active coming into it. But as the week unfolds, reflecting a bit, you know, we'll be in the balsamic phase, the ending of this last lunar cycle about relationships, reflecting on them, uh, seeing what comes your way, because even, you know, like I'm saying with the new moon, there is some new things shaping up. And uh, I think we'll notice more of those next week. But uh, with a weekend of a willingness to listen, to maybe set some intentions and just all in all see how things can continue to move forward in this area, I think can be a great way of aligning with this. And I think it's going to be particularly involving relationships, not only because it's in the seventh, but it's uh, going to be conjoining up to Mercury, who naturally rules your seventh house. So certainly new things shaping up there, maybe about what you're learning about them or about relation, uh, you know, communication and relationships, maybe even some new beginnings about the emotional connectivity in them as well. Uh, maybe even too with your personal life or your family life. And there's actually been a lot of opportunities here for you to connect with relationships lately and will be for the next year plus uh, with Jupiter in the seventh. So this is where you can be seeing perhaps potentials, um, a bit of opportunity coming through those in your life. And uh, yeah, it's just an excellent time to connect with new and existing partnerships. So uh, this is going to be at the end of the week and there's a lot going on this week leading up to that. So let's go ahead and break it down. Uh, here around Tuesday and Wednesday, Venus is going to be forming a couple aspects. Uh, she's actually recently gone into your ninth house. And this is the house of adventure and travel and expanding your horizons or just philosophy, that kind of you know mental expansion and open mindedness. But it's been a serious area for you. This has been Saturn helping you really ground this stuff. Take the patient and disciplined approach to these possibilities in your life. So Venus here, though, has been perhaps helping you enjoy a bit of the adventurous side or the open minded side. And I think it's a great week to continue to do that. But especially with Venus getting closer to Saturn, they're going to conjoin at the end of the week. It is this understanding about, yes, there's value about this expansive stuff or there's things to enjoy about it, but it's about the long term. It's about patience. It's about persistence. And I think you're willing to do that uh, at the end of the week with this conjunction. And again, in many ways, it's a new beginning with these possibilities. But again, the grounded and mature approach uh, to that. So uh, that's going to be that conjunction pretty close this whole week. They'll go exact on Saturday. But as we approach that, Venus will be squaring up to Neptune and sextiling Jupiter uh, Tuesday and Wednesday. So with this one, if you are feeling a bit hazy or uncertain about these future things or possibilities, or maybe there's uh, this pool to get some alone time or something like that, uh, it is good to have that acceptance and presence and maybe even spiritual development, and maybe getting to a bit of that alone time. Uh, this is going to be the square from your 12th house. And so if you don't have all the information, give it a bit of space um, if it's something like that. Uh, but if it's about you perhaps getting a bit more R&R, &R, relaxation, maybe it's going to be challenging for you to do that. Maybe it's something you can implement in a healthy and grounded sort of way there. Now, the sextile up to Jupiter does suggest, again, that there is positive energy with those relationships. And I think that, in that regard, can be supporting certainly these uh, values that are shaping up about these more expansive things in life. Now, the second half of the week, we'll have Mars uh, squaring up to Uranus and sextiling up to Chiron. So this has been a Mars in your 10th house, first of all, which is the house of career and the house of your productive life. So there could be good energy, good momentum for you guys right now at the moment um, in a cyclical sort of sense because Mars is at the top of the chart where he likes to be in a fiery sign of Sagittarius. And there may have been some transformations last week involving your career, which was the conjunction with Pluto. Um, so if there were, if there was, it's a great week to continue with uh, the career energy, putting momentum into that, your goals, whatever it is there, um, and continuing with whatever those transformations were. Maybe even to the financial stuff and uh, those expansive things as well. So anyways, uh, Friday and Saturday, though, Mars squaring up to Uranus. If you're feeling a bit impulsive about some of that productive stuff, about the financial stuff, or maybe about those expansive things, you know, your possibilities, give it a bit of space. Step, step back a bit uh, because sometimes with Uranus we can be a bit impulsive, we can be a bit rash. Uh, maybe this is you wanting to break free, break through. And there's something to definitely listen to about this because 
Uranus in your first house has been showing you the importance of having more freedom in your life. Freedom of being who you are and your true self and your progressive unique self and really expressing that, just embodying that. So if you are feeling the impulse to do that, listen to it, but implement it in a nice grounded sort of way. Uh, but all in all, just listening to that intuition, seeing how you can implement a bit of that freedom in that healthy and balanced way. And the sextile up to Chiron does suggest too that there can be maybe some healing taking place with you uh, this uh, Friday and Saturday time that you can find maybe is quite uh, tranquil. Maybe it's something that's rejuvenating you and refreshing you. At least it's certainly an opportunity for that. All right, so that's the week in a nutshell. Definitely placing an emphasis on uh, this Venus-Saturn conjunction in your ninth house, these possibilities, how they can be grounded and taken into the long-term picture. Uh, you got Mars at the top of the chart. Motivation drive, I think, to continue with that productive or career stuff with that uh, bit of awareness here around Friday and Saturday. And uh, this is all in the context of the new moon, which is, again, in relationships, which I think is another excellent week for them to maybe reflect on them towards the weekend and see what new insights or new things might be coming your way. All right, so Pisces, have a fantastic week. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you all next week.